What's up, everyone? Um, it's pretty nice out. Hope you're all having a great day. I gotta say, music, in my opinion, has a way of talking to you. Like, it has a meaning behind it. Um, probably, well, my opinion, probably one of the most well-known examples is the song F Full Circle by the uh, American rock band Aerosmith with, a, with lyrics like, Time, don't let it slip away. Raise your drinking glass. Here's to yesterday. You know, time, don't let it slip away. You know, live in the moment. Don't don't fast forward to two or three years from now where you have a family and whatever else. <laughs> You know, raise your drinking glass. Here's to yesterday. Cheers for today. Live for today. And you know, I'm not trying to bring religion into anything or whatever, but <coughs> um, you know, we're not promised tomorrow. You know, live for today, but also pray for tomorrow. I mean, you know, here's the thing. I'm young, but the thing of it is, I could have a heart attack or a stroke or an aneurysm or something awful, and I could die tomorrow without notice or unexpectedly or whatever the case may be. But I think music has a way of talking to you. Of speaking to you without actually, without you even understanding it sometimes. It's the strangest thing, but, you know, let me give you an, uh, let me give you another example here. If I could think of one, that is. Okay, as of right now, I can't think of one, but sometimes it's not even self-conscious mind. It's just your mind thinking, you know, that's, that's true. There's some meaning behind that. It's probably not, um, it, it's probably not, um, explained super well like sometimes you hear something and you take it your way you know what I'm saying like like when you hear a song or uh, someone say something sometimes it's hard for you to take it the way that the other person or persons are wanting you to take it. Sometimes you have to choose for yourself how you want to take something. <coughs> you know, here's something kind of controversial. You know, I understand that people back then, like in the 50s and 60s, they didn't really listen to reggae, uh, classical, or alternative music. People today do. And you know, just because it sounds kind of crazy and fast does not mean that it's bad. You know, there's a song that I like. Um, it's called uh, War Pigs. It's by a British metal band called Black Sabbath. And they're singing about how the rich people of the Vietnam War would hide and how the poor people will, were forced to fight 
in this war that killed a ton of people. I don't know how many people the Vietnam War really killed, but there was a lot of bloodshed during it. Not as much as the Civil War, I don't think, but there was an unbelievable amount of death during it. But, let me think of a lyric I'm trying to think. Let me try to think of a lyric here. I don't know, I can't think of the lyrics right now, but if you just give it a listen and give it a chance, I think you could pick up some kind of message in it. But, you know, just because it's not something that you listen to does not mean it's bad. I'm going to go back to full circle here for a minute. Um, you know, really, to me, what that's really about is uh, make the most out of life. Now, obviously, don't act stupid in life, like go rob banks, go drink underage, drink and drive and do drugs, I mean, hey, if you want to do that, go ahead, but that's not what I'm taking away from it. I'm taking away from it, you know, value your relationships, value your friendships, value um, yourself. If you want to go out and uh, experience something cool, like uh, going to the Bahamas or going to Florida, or going to a different country, like uh, spending a week or two in a different state, spending uh, a few months or whatever in a different country. And yes, there, there actually is people who do that. But, you know, just... Not necessarily live life to the fullest because, you know, that just sounds sort of chance-taking, almost like risk-taking. But, um, you know, be smart, but also think, you know, I'd really like to go experience blah, 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 or... You know, maybe we can plan to drive here and we can go see this, 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 and this. But, you know, obviously plan for something first, then get to it. Uh, it sounds like, uh, sounds like someone's cleaning the house over there. But... If you're, if you're hearing a motor run, that's probably what it is. But anyhow, um, come full circle. But it, anyhow, if you've never heard that song, I strongly suggest that you at least give it a listen. Give it a chance. And you know, if you... If you like music that sings about truth, hard truth, and truth that people that a lot of people probably don't know, and whatever else, um, I give Aer Aerosmith a chance. Now, I'm not being paid by them to promote them or whatever. They've been around for a long time. I don't know how long, but I'll be a lot longer than I've been alive. <laughs> But, um, you know, if you like lifestyle music, then, you know, give, give them Laurel. They're one of my favorite bands. Along with the uh, beautiful vocals of Steven Tyler.
But anyhow, um, guys, that's pretty much it, at least for the main topic of the video. Tomorrow, um, we're going to make make a big pan of mac and cheese, and we're going to head a, over to a friend's house for a friend's, for a friend's giving, as she puts it. And uh, Thanksgiving is a little over a week away. Is that not crazy? I believe today is the 16th, but to, <laughs> I almost, almost just swallowed a bug. To be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure. But anyhow, guys, um, like I said before, that's pretty much it. I'm going to head back here because uh, um, I just think I better. But I'm going to spend some more time outside. But yeah, guys, I hope you're doing good. If it's nice where you're at, I strongly encourage you to get outside. You see, this is funny. This is another thing. Um, uh, tomorrow, like pretty much all day, we're supposed to have rain. I mean, we're in mid-November now, and I'm thankful that it's not snowing yet, okay? Very thankful it's not snowing yet, but it's uh should be getting here before too long. But, yeah, if it's nice where you're at, I strongly encourage you to get outside and enjoy the weather. Um, But yeah, if you like these type of videos, guys, I'd appreciate it if you uh, drop me a like, uh, ring the bell. No, well, I should have said hit subscribe then ring the bell. Um, my uh, su subscribers for the channel have kind of stopped. I mean, I know it takes a little while to build a, uh, what's the word? Um, like a social media platform up but you know i'm patient oh and uh shout out to schoolcraft family farmstead and snoop he just hit 370 subscribers so if you like um outdoorsy type videos and um farming also and like picking stuff in fields and whatever else uh check out schoolcraft family farmstead on youtube uh help him reach a thousand subscribers and hopefully over but anyhow guys that's pretty much it i hope you all have a great day i might take a little break here i don't know but I do have a couple Thanksgiving videos coming up. Anyhow, guys, that's pretty much it. Take care.